Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Channel Back. And today, I'm going to be looking at my personal top 5 summoning weapons. So, <laughs> as you can see, my phone's flying around. The first one, which is my favorite, is this one. It's the mystical, I mean the optic staff. And you can make it with... One black lens, which is a rare drop off of the demon eye. And you have to be in hard mode to make this just like now. Two regular lens, which you get from demon eyes or wandering eyes. Again, a black lens. Hollowed bars, which you get from the destroyers, go from Prime. And. And the destroyer, I mean, and the twins. And the soul of sight, which you need to kill the twins for. So. You think you you might have to kill them twice if um that is how many souls of sight you get from them. It's either fifteen or twenty. And if you have twenty, I might suggest killing more before you make the staff. Yeah, so that's my first cool top five number one. And I will be doing another one on my favorite pets. So, I'm going to show you what my other one is. So, you guys are sick. So, this next one is kind of a mount and a pet, but I usually choose it as a pet. And it can fight for you, kind of not. But it's the Slimy Cell, which you get this from Killing the King Slime. It summons a rideable slime out. And when you jump on people's heads, it actually does quite a lot of damage. And I use it, you can use this to kill Skeletron with. So you make a, um, on, I'm not going to tell the strategy that I use. I might do it in a different video, but not for now. Yeah, so this one saddle is my top four. It's my fifth one. I mean, my second favorite. And to get off of them, there is no useful way to get off of them. You just go to your effects and, <laughs> and then, just cancel the buff, or you can get on him, or try and grapple, or shoot with something. Okay, so I'll see you when I have the next one. Coming in the number three slot is the Imp Staff. It's the Imp, and you get him by getting an Imp Staff, which is used, which is made by um, Hell, Hellstone, and I mean Hell Bars, whatever Hellstone Bars, and it's made out of. I don't, I don't remember how much it's made out of. It's made out of 17 Hellstone bars. And that will summon you an imp. I used to use this guy all the time, but now I have the twin stuff like that. Yeah, so he's in the number number three spot. So uh, see you guys when I have the number four. Number four comes the Hydra Staff. It's Frost of the Hydra Staff. And it summons a Hydra that won't follow you around, but. You can leave it at an area if you want, like at a store of clips. It will actually attack mobs, and it's like the Queen's Spider Staff, but it's different because the summon summon damage actually is 85. And dang it, I didn't mean to kill them. Yeah, so that's the number four five. You can leave it at your house or something if you don't want people to get killed, like at a solar eclipse, blood moon, you can put one down there. And you can only put one of these down, because if you try to put another down, the one that you originally put down will break in the, it'll sound like you break, um, it'll sound, it'll sound like you're breaking ice or glass. See? Only put one down, That's, that kind of stinks, but eh. It's 85 damage, you can't do with that. And, yeah. Again, you can't get rid of it in the buffs. You'll have to summon something else in or wait till it disappears. Or I think you can fly up in the air and come back down. I don't think he'll be gone at all until he just disappears from being out too long. See you guys when I come up with the last one and then I'll end this video today. So coming in number five is the maniac I mean the spider staff. This spider staff will actually summon in a baby spider, and it's 23 summon damage. 
and as you see, he latches on to the enemies, and he hits them quite a lot of times. He's almost like the baby slime, but he hurts way more. And sometimes he flies around with you. And when you're, this is like a cool feature I love. Um, when you're inside, he actually climbs on the, um, if you have a wall inside of the house or something, he'll actually act like he's um, walking in midair. So he's basically latched onto the walls. And when you're fighting a boss, he's really helpful if, if it's only one, because like twins or something, if you're first, if you're fighting them for your first time, don't have this dude out because well, if you already have one in like a second stage where you can just kill that one and then finish off the other one, if he goes on um and attacks the other one when it's almost to its second stage and the other one isn't dead, when it's almost dead, when it's at its second stage, he'll actually mess it all up if um it's your first time fighting him. He'll mess it up so spazzitism and retains are both in their second stage and that makes it way harder so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like why not subscribe and comment down below if you want to tell your family and friends about this video we'll see you guys next time peace